Hey guys, welcome to BTECT. It's Basil here with a slightly tongue-in-cheek comparison. This is 125 pounds. This is 600 plus pounds. This is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, obviously. The latest, greatest, most specalicious phone that we've ever come across. But the Vodafone Smart Ultra 6 has really been impressing me lately. And so I thought, well, do a video on exactly what a 600 pound plus phone gets you that a 125 pound phone doesn't. So for starters, what we're gonna talk about is that design as I make sure that this stops sleeping midway through me talking. The sign of these two is very very different. You've got beautiful curved glass, premium metal finish, glass back and front um, and ultimately a really rich feeling phone versus a plastic body. Before you pick it up though you probably wouldn't be able to tell that they were going to be that different. The ZTE made Vodafone Smart Ultra 6 has a 5.5 inch display. That's versus a 5.7 inch display. It's also a decent panel so it doesn't look too shabby. Side by side with the AMOLED screen, it does pale in comparison. But like I said, 125 pounds, guys. So now taking a look at the actual design in terms of buttons and ports. They're relatively comparable. You've got micro USB connectors at the base. You've got 3.5 mil headphone jacks too. Up at the top on the Vodafone Smart Ultra 6 um, on the right hand side is where you can see your power buttons and volume rocker as well on the Vodafone Smart. While on the left hand side you have the volume buttons on here. Now Samsung's done something awesome. They've combined a great fingerprint scanner with the home button. You've also got two capacitor buttons either side. But the Vodafone Smart combats that fingerprint scanner and home button because you can double tap to wake it. Something that's usually seen on higher priced devices and I love that feature. Around the back you've got 13 megapixels of camera and a much cheaper feeling back versus 16 megapixels of camera. Maybe different numbers but this is a much much better performer if it's anything like the S6 Edge. One thing the S6 Edge does, X6 Edge Plus does do though is get fingerprinted up a lot quicker than the plastic Vodafone smart. If we take a look at the user interfaces, you can see it's a very stock version of Android on the Vodafone Smart Ultra 6. Um, they have put Flipboard on here. I've killed Flipboard, um, but it is still incredibly stock. You do have a few Vodafone applications, but you can uninstall them. So any stock Android fans may actually be better served with this device. Any powerhouse fans will definitely prefer this because you get a lot more in terms of what you can do with the user interface. You've got Flipboard briefing to the left. The Edge user interface also also allows you to pull in from the right and here you can access contacts quickly and swipe through to access applications quickly. Pull down from the top, both of them give you notification trace and pull down again on the Ultra 6 and you get application um, quick toggles as well and notifications both. You've got applications trays on both, horizontal scrolling, and that's pretty much the crux of the user interface. Both seem to perform really smoothly. The internals of the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge wipe the floor with Vodafone Smart, but the Snapdragon 610 or 615 processor inside, um, paired with two gig of RAM, is super impressive for that price point. That's versus Exynos 7 optical processor, um, which is also optical, also 64-bit, also LTE capable. Um, but it has 4 gig of RAM, which is, frankly speaking, bonkers. I can't wait to see how that fares in real world usage. I haven't really had any problems with performance with this. Any eagle eyes will be able to see. I've got a few games on here, including Chaos Rings as well. And Chaos Rings seem to perform super, super smoothly. As far as LTE goes, you've got a faster LTE um, up to Cat9 LTE on the S6 Edge Plus. And you've also got a similar size battery, 3000 milliamps. Uh, again, super impressed with the Vodafone Smart Ultra 6. Um, hopefully you can understand just why I wanted to do this comparison. I'm not saying that in any way this is a better phone than that, but what I am saying is it's a lot harder now to justify spending so much money on a high ender if all you really need are the basic to rudimentary things that a £125 phone like this could do for you. If you did like it, make sure you click that like button. If you like BTECT in general, subscribe. That's exactly how you're going to stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching BTECT.